Imagine you're sitting in the edit bay, the editor's sitting there, and they want to share the output of Media Composer to somebody else, but they're cross country or they're in a park and they don't have access to a system, but they have their phone. What we're doing is we're using Microsoft Teams to log in to Media Composer and using SRT, Secure Reliable Transport, from Media Composer to send the output across Teams. So what I'll do here, let me go ahead and launch Teams to get started. Launching into my Teams application. Hello. We'll join that. All right. And now let me go ahead and load this sequence right here. And I'm going to launch Avid Huddle. Again, this is a preview. This isn't out yet. We want to show people what we are doing because, again, it's a great application. Imagine the time that's saving from exporting a file, sending a link out, getting a whole bunch of different notes, looking at all that independently, waiting for feedback from somebody. You can actually do it while you're in a team session. We'll log into the system. Did I spell it? Or maybe it's wrong password. Nope. Cap locks. There we go. So I'm logging in to Teams. I'm enabling Avid Huddle. And then when I launch into Teams and start a session, I can start sharing the output of Media Composer. So I'm going to turn on SRT, which is part of the timeline. I'm going to enable it, and let's first see if we're getting the information out of the system. So right now, it's just me in the session, whoa, and it's playing out, here I am, it's playing out of Media Composer in this window. But I'm going to invite some friends who are currently here in the audience from Avid. So I'm going to go to people here. Let's go ahead and I think Sarah is here. Sarah Priestnall. Request to join. We have Joe Vandenberg. Have him. So basically Teams is now going out and calling them on their phones. And make sure you turn uh, mute your phone. But turn on your camera so we can see where you are. So there's Joe. There's Sarah, and if I hit play, they'll be able to see what's being played out on my system on their phones. But what's also cool is the time code is right here. So I could stop on any frame, let's say right here. That's not what they're seeing, and we can have a, a little chat. You know, what do you think of this? You'll see Joe. All right, Joe. Now realize I could delete that, but I won't. But anyway, you'll see that he's actually making a comment from his phone and adding an annotation to the system here. And we could even go in and start drawing. So we could be talking and I could say, all right, you know, let's highlight this. Is this a good area here? You know, we could do a little snapshot of that. But the idea is this is a live session that we are actually seeing and working with. And what's really cool is once we go in and let me just uh, move down a little bit, I'm going to add another comment myself. I like this. Need to be able to spell right. What? There we go. When I add that, that annotation is there. When I close out of the session, it's going to save a summary of those annotations that I can import back into Media Composer as markers. All right. So uh, thank you, Sarah and Joe, for uh, joining my session here. Uh, so stop sharing. And then, again, Avid Huddle is just a really great way to be able to share. And this could be used for anybody. It could be, you know, training departments or 
uh, creative services or, you know, again, editorial, just to be able to do that, you know, all live at any time. And you could be in a team session and say, hey, why don't I just show you the cut? And you could launch into the session as well.